click on our funnel and we're going to go and edit our page and to do this we're going to go to settings integrations and we're going to tie in with uh, MailChimp so just click on this button here MailChimp and action we're going to add to list so pretty much what this means is when someone puts in their name and email address we're going to add that to that list that we just created in MailChimp for our uh, opt-in earlier and the list to add is as you can see on here there's our list from MailChimp and one thing I want you to take note here is this last field here for confirmation email we don't want that because if you have that selected uh, that means that they're going to you know your users will double opt-in and we don't want that so we're going to select uh, don't send confirmation email and now that we have that selected just click off and if you want to double check your work you can just go back to integrations and everything is set there so awesome so what we want is our opt-in form to appear and give them the option to uh, opt-in or not when somebody comes into our funnel. And to do that, let's go to settings. And we're going to go to, oh, I'm sorry, go pop-up. And we're going to go to show pop-up. And as you can see on here, here's the default um, pop-up or uh, opt-in that uh, this template was provided. But, you know, we want to do everything the hard way again and we're going to pretty much just uh, delete everything here and we'll create our own little special custom uh, opt-in and it's pretty simple so let's delete um, actually we'll, we'll keep this we'll just delete this down here alright so right now we have something that's usable so we have a a little title here in which we're going to we're going to pretty much just edit that and we'll put in something like enter your email to receive our offers and let's click off of that and we're going to make that a little smaller it's too big there so go to settings and let's let's give it a little margin on top to give it a little buffer so we'll go about 30 there Maybe that's a little big, but we'll see. And we'll make our font a little smaller, maybe back to 30 as well. Okay, maybe zero up there. Okay, that looks a little better. And let's, let's also change our font. And I like uh, Lato. All right, and let's go ahead and click off of that for text properties. Looks all right right now. Um, okay, so I don't like this white background here in our um, opt-in uh, pop-up. I'm going to change that to a different color by clicking that. And we're going to change the background color to match our the theme of our website there. So we'll make the we'll make it that that blue background there and let's go to advance and I don't want a border so I'm going to turn that off and let's say I want a shadow there so let's go with 40% drop shadow as you can see there's a little drop shadow now there okay we'll fix that up so don't worry yet and I'm going to go back to our text here and I'm going to um, oops show pop-up I'm going to edit that again and we'll change our text color to white that gives it a little more contrast and I think this is bold so I'm not going to bold that it's a little too thick in my opinion okay so next we will put in a field here and I'm going to click on this plus element and let's put in a form field for our users to enter in their email address and that will be this uh, input box 
and it looks like it's ready to go so as you can see on here it says warning input type not set so we'll just click on it and over here input type is not set so we're going to set that to email address all right looks good we'll go back here and let's change our button down here so I'm click on our button the action is to submit the order form this is what we want once they enter in their email address and click on the button it's just going to submit that to our MailChimp list so that's good go back here and we're gonna change the color on that so I want something a little different there you go I like that orange and down here let's go ahead and, and do the same here change the font color down here and make that white so there you go this opt-in looks a little wide for me so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make that a little smaller as you can see the moto width I think is what we want uh, small so that's what we want right there a little smaller it's a little too big and there you have it so this is a pop-up uh, opt-in that will you know pretty much appear when somebody comes into this uh, funnel actually I don't think we're done yet here's uh, something we forgot to do so if you go to advance here and animation this is where we want this is how we want our uh, the behavior of this opt-in to appear so the time delay is to fade in and you want to set that and we'll just leave everything to zero here because this means that once they uh, land on this page it's going to come up right away and the animation type we want is uh, on page load so it'll load up right away and style fade in is fine and I think we're ready to go so let's click off of that and we'll save this and let's go ahead and preview to see how this works so I'm gonna click preview and as you can see our opt-in form popped right up so as you can see the uh, if functions just the way we want um, I'm going to go ahead and update the uh, the wording on this button here so let's go back and close out of here and we'll go back to edit pop-up settings oops wrong one down here and I'll click on settings and let's change our wording there so we'll put in something like click to sign up you can put whatever you want and there you have it so let's save that and let's preview one more time and there's our pop-up right there once they come into our funnel and they can enter our email address here and submit the uh, the opt-in or if most people will just click off or they will click the X to close it and that's okay so if they click off now they would just land on our product page and as you can see on here they can uh, pretty much just click on the button here to get it now and this will bring them to our uh, order page which we haven't uh, designed yet so I don't think this will work yet but uh, we'll get there soon.